right, Syracuse, second time around, you guys, uh, that was their first uh, ACC win. Um, you know, what's the, what's the message with, uh, amongst the team to, to you know, get that second win against them since you guys know what to do uh, from the first time around? Just doing the same thing, same principles last game. Just staying together, especially uh, offensive-wise and, and defensive-wise. Just got to move the ball, offense, and find open gaps. Defensive-wise, we just had to close in and know everybody and what they do. Just know the personnel. Any of the seniors talk to you about uh, what it's like playing in, in the dome up there and how, how how the atmosphere is to play in that type of environment? No, nah, not yet. I haven't talked to you nah, about it yet? Not yet, not yet. <laughs> well, are you excited to play in that type of It's really cold down there. Okay. That's it. So, and you know, from me, from being from Florida, yeah. it's just different for me. So. Do um, you think uh, the, what it feels like outside is going to impact your game inside at all? Or, or nah, is I don't that think so. It was different for you down in Miami from the Clemson game, you know, from two points to 20 or whatever you had. Uh, I mean, just basically, I mean, I don't know really. Just, you know, stay consistent with what I do. So, I mean, just help my team out in any way possible. So, I mean, I just got to just keep it going. You don't know. No, I don't know. What you think about the uh, what Sunday brought to the team uh, on the court this week? Uh, rebounding. So, I mean, we do a really good job in practice rebounding. And just offense and defense side, just does a really good job. So, I mean, coach plays him, and that's, that's what he's going to give us. Well, I mean, Gerard got in some foul trouble. He was able to get a, get some run. Uh, was it, was he, did he provide a spark, some activity? I mean, did you all like what he brought on the court with you? Well, yeah, of course. He provides, he provides energy um, in practice. So, I mean, we knew he'll provide energy in the game. We got good, um, tough rebounds and clutch rebounds that we needed to score. So, even though we came up with the laws, it was still big rebounds. You have to make shots from the outside to beat Syracuse. You have to hit some threes against their zone. Yeah, I think we got to make multiple threes, but at the same time, just finding open, not just threes, but finding an open gap. So it'll be the middle, like the high post or the short corner. So I mean, it'll be just everywhere. We just got to know how they react to what we do. You get excited for a game like this? You've been working the mid range game pretty well. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Is there confidence after the performance you had against Syracuse when you moved the ball so well and got the ball to the open gap and hit those threes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was a success. I mean, we hit a lot of threes that game. So, I mean, we just have to keep doing what we did last time and just stay focused, no silly turnovers, and we'll be fine. That was almost 10 games ago. So do you look at that tape and try to, you know, replicate what you did? Or do you do, I mean, try to, of course, you're going to bring something different to the table. But, you know, how much do you try to replicate that game? I mean, we probably going to watch a little bit of film of it last game. So, I mean, just find out the mistakes we did and the correct things we did. I mean, second half, I mean, we did a really good job finding the high post and short corner area to score. Good. Good. Thank you.